Hey, it's Father Time, and welcome to another adventure of me learning to fly the MD-82 uh, and also FSI Panel 2020 for Microsoft Flight Center, a great training aid. Today we're going to do a Christchurch uh, departure, and I've got to put myself at one of the gates, uh, either at, what is it, stand 18 through 27, 22 looks good, we'll go there, set that as a departure, and uh, we're going to go through how to set up, here we go, and uh, set up the entire thing to fly this very challenging level three profile go to preset for the weather and then you look through here for New Zealand which you're gonna be doing and there it is select that one and close what do we do we put ourselves at gates uh, 18 through 27 at Christchurch and we're gonna go to uh, you don't have to put that in here and we're gonna go with our preset weather that's all we did to open up and then they said to change the time to around 2 a uh, 10 a.m right here and that's close enough there we go we got the weather the time and the gate position we go to fly what I'm gonna do is come back when I have the aircraft uh, getting ready to board I'm gonna go in here we're not gonna try to touch FSI panel uh, until we get this whole thing all completely up and booted but I want to show you what I what I did to start off so uh, why don't we do that I'll show you what I did before I ever signed on to Microsoft Flight Simulator. All right, you go to FSI panel. Just before you boot it up, remember this is already done for me. Um, you'll notice you have, uh, it does say MD-82. You wouldn't see that here because we wouldn't have uh, any uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator booted up. So you go to setup, statue miles and pounds. That's what I want to do. We're under options here. If you want to do any kind of uh, pattern work, you can say left down, downwind, and you come here to uh, define what the left downwind would be, uh, downwind, and put how many miles from the runway, usually about five or six altitude you want to be at. That's for another video. JP has done a bunch of that over on FSI panel videos. Uh, also, uh, you can come across landing reports. We'll judge your last landing. Mad Dog, I've defaulted landing flaps 28 and uh, medium on the auto brake. That's fine. PMDG, if you're flying the 73 there, airport editor, you can put in any airport, it'll show like IKO, like KLGA for LaGuardia, give you all the iOS frequencies there. Uh, fly by wires covered fully. Phoenix A321 is covered. And uh, anything on the premium version, you can do some of the pattern work. These scenarios, uh, open scenario manager. Uh, but before we do, options here, I, uh, oh, I gotta put that where you can see it, right? Sorry about that, guys. Options here, I uh, did an auto-tune next frequency on COM1 standby, which is really nice to have. Enable push to talk. You select the button. Go here. What, which one do we want to use? I'll use my Boeing yoke. Button number one. There you go. And then uh, for uh, say again button, select button. And I'm going to do that off my hostage stick. And I'm going to press the F2 key. There it is, number two. So I've assigned my push to talk to my Boeing yoke, number one. It's just like that, Sim. And uh, this is say again button, which comes in handy sometimes if you miss it. So we've got the uh, next frequency enabled, push to talks enabled, and uh, say again. And I got voice and text so, uh, for the hearing impaired, as well as the old slow guys. Uh, speakers, you can test it if you want, it's, it's obnoxious. Um, open the scenario manager. And I, anything in green has already been downloaded into my database. These are the ones available for the MD-82. And the one we're going to do is this one, uh, Air New Zealand Flight 659 from Church, uh, uh, Christ Church to Queenstown, Australia. Runway 20 departure. Already installed. It's level 3. The other two that I did were uh, KTFK and LaGuardia repositioning the aircraft was a level two and I did a level one from uh, Boston to JFK I made videos of those but uh, anyway this is already downloaded the weather's in there and uh, what could go wrong right so um, but we're gonna close this out we would have done that all before we booted up Microsoft Flight Simulator and here we are at gate 22 in uh, Christchurch New Zealand and we'll get ready to fly cold dark airplane so basically we're just gonna run a pre-flight it's gonna be about a two hour and 20 minute video I will have timestamps. It's going to cover everything you need to know as to the level I know it for Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator FSI Panel 2020 Christchurch to Queenstown, New Zealand, and some of the gutches that are in there. We'll talk about a lot of those. I tried it once last night, 
and uh, it didn't work out too well. So I'm, I'm trying it again tonight. I did land, but the approach was uh, just the database wasn't keeping up for me. All right, circuit breakers are in. These are modeled up here, and they're uh, they're in. We checked the uh, master here. We checked the crash axe, the pressure breathing equipment. That's the hood. It's uh, moisture seals not broken. The halon fire extinguishers in the uh, green band. And uh, behind the seats would be life vests. We are overwater equipped. And uh, we checked the windows are closed and locked on both sides with the escape ropes closed and locked and escape ropes. We come down the middle of the cockpit. Uh, we check the gear handles down, uh, the gear handles down, the throttles are idle, th uh, reverse levers are down, flap levers up, spoilers up. What are we doing? We're, we're just coming over here to make sure that when we put power on the aircraft and the hydraulic pumps are all off, um, we put power on the aircraft that... Um, we don't hurt anyone. Come up here, and the windshield wipers are off. That's all good. And I jog panels all set. Okay, so now what we're going to do is get power on the aircraft. So, guys, some of these FSI panels will start you on the runway with everything loaded. You'll have uh, you'll have the engines running, flight plan loaded, uh, glare shield control panel all set up for departure. This one is basically a communications function. It also gives you the changing freaks, and there's a way to arm uh, after landing check. Uh, they'll do the after landing check for you. That's cool. So we've got those going for us, but this is not a full FSIP panel profile with the box loaded and everything. So we basically load everything up as if we're doing it ourselves, which we are, and we're going to turn on essentially the ATC comms by the FSI panel. But it's pretty cool, and I wanted you to see it. It's extremely challenging RNAV star going in there to an RNAV approach, which I'm not sure this airplane can do um, <clears throat> without intervention. So I'm not even sure we're legal for it. <clears throat> so anyway, um, let's get started. Let's go to the overhead panel. Uh, we're going to check the uh, battery voltage on here. And we're looking for more than 25. Looks like we got... That's the amp charge. Uh, amp charge. The battery voltage is up here, and we're going to have to turn the battery on to find it, right? So let's do that. Click it twice. Get this going horizontal there, right? So this is kind of a stream of consciousness thing, guys. Battery, battery voltage. Amps, volts. Volts are down around, uh, what is that, 26? And the amperage, you can see that it's drawing on the battery right now because we just have battery power is on. Uh, if we wanted to start the APU, we turn on the APU start pump and do a fire test. But right now, what I'm going to do is go to the electronic flight bag, get booted up, and get them to put in some conditioned air here. Some uh, ground power, not conditioned air. Aircraft services. Not going to open the door yet. Ground and GPU. Because what I want to do is get the fueling started before I do anything else. So GPU, let's go back to the overhead, put on the external power. Auto. Autopilot. Like you see now with battery, the battery's there, the amperage, it's drawing uh, battery amps, it's charging. Before it was drawing on it, now it's charging. External power, we got the available lights, so we knew it was good, but it was the uh, 115 and uh, 410 on the volts and frequencies, looks good. We've got that going, but we're going to start boarding people. I'm going to try to get some coffee going there. Boarding people, so I'm going to start the APU. So before I do that, I have to come in here and do the fire test. Uh, I see fire detector loop on the EOAP, right? So one loop, it doesn't care, but two loops, oh, you're going to fire. Fire, left engine. And we just want to check the master warning, fire, master engine. caution, appropriate fire, fire detection right loop. Engine. Fire, left engine. And make sure the bell can be silenced. We silenced it and turn off one. They both come off, turn off the other. So the APU is checked. Make sure it's clear outside before we do any of this. And uh, let's go back to the overhead here instead of doing that. Let's go to the overhead and start the APU. We've got a fuel pump on right aft. It's fine. Uh, we don't need a start pump because we do have external. And uh, let's start it up. Hold it. Waiting for the RPMs to start here. There they go. We'll let that start up, and then we'll get it all the, the powers. To, 
hooked up. I'm going to get the uh, valves open just to be ready. Here we go. Okay, uh, now what I'm going to do, I can hear the AP going out there, is I'm going to get some the fueling started. So in order to do that, I am going to go to the electronic flight bag. I am going to get the panel up. I'm going to go weight and balance and sim brief, operational flight plan. Get that imported. All right, uh, we've got the uh, sim brief flight plan here also. Make sure they match up. Block fuel. They didn't match up last night, which was a little, little disturbing, guys. A little bit disturbing. Um, aft cargo, that's 15.935 up here. And this says 15.935. So it looks like I got the right one. Yeah, they were, there was a discrepancy. I used the Simbrief flight plan off of the scenario, which I'll show you. And it was different than this one. This one's the same routing with a higher fuel, with a uh, different fuel load, 15.9. So I've got that off the Simbrief operational flight plan and the electronic flight bag. So essentially, you're going to turn on the comms later, as I mentioned. Uh, we're gonna let we're gonna just update this like like we uh, we're going on a flight all by ourselves with no uh, FSI panel at all. All right, with that going, I'm just gonna this bothers me. So I I think every pilot would always cage this when they came in the airplane. Just makes our head go sideways. So we've got the uh, APU started here. Let's go to the overhead. And uh, anytime you do the APU, they're gonna come on and say, hey, sir, you, can we pull the power? Because they want that, that uh, external power unit off. Um, I'll just get some air going on and get the packs running. Tricky switch sometimes, guys. Get the packs going. I want to look at the pressure. It's right at the top of the yellow band. If I were to turn the packs off, you get up to closer to 40 PSI, which would be great for start. Okay, so let's do the box. Like I said, some of the FSI P profiles for the PMDG 73, Phoenix A320, Flyby Wire A320, and the Mad Dog MD82. Is, and I think now it's the Horizon 787-9. Uh, you can do all the advanced uh, failures, everything, and, and load every, all the scenarios. Uh, but the other aircraft, Microsoft, if it's in the premium package, of Microsoft Flight Center, I believe you can use all these pre-positioning for downwind, dogleg, but some of the scenarios aren't going to work just as well. But uh, JP could clarify that in the comment section from FSI panel staff. Uh, so the uh, airport were NZCH. Yeah, last night I got here and I did this and I got all the way to the approach and nothing was in the database. So I kind of had to figure that out. Uh, the position is initiating. And we're going to go NZ. Uh, remember, this is going to have timestamps here, guys. So you could go CH, NZ, QN. You can go to any section you would like. This is meant for the guys who are just getting started, such as myself. I'm going to activate it, execute it. Uh, arrival. It's going to be the uh, departures, rather. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, Aster 1, Quebec. I got this. I'll show you where I got this when we get in there. Runway 20, Guppet, and this comes off the description of what we're going to do, which I will show you, because remember, we would have already done that. And then uh, go back to Index, Arrival. It's going to be LRUP 4 Bravo. And then we're going to go down to the RNAV Zulu 23. Now the uh, RNAV Zulu 23. The profile, I'll show that later, says RNAV Yankee. That's not available. RNAV Zulu is the same thing. So don't do RNAV Yankee. Do the RNAV Zulu. The 2 3. <clears throat> Act kill transition. That's a big deal. So um, that's the one that mimics the one that, that JP had on his uh, demonstration. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, JP. That's uh, where I was at there. All right, so here we go. Uh, fuel. We're looking for, uh, you know, let's get them fueling now since we're loading up GSX and request refueling. Before I ever do the boarding, <coughs> I'm going the to do uh, is on its way. 
do this stuff. So let's go to uh, Please flight don't plan. Please aircraft until the fuel truck arrives. 15.9. Let's go with 16.0. If you remember on the MD-80, remember I'm new on this. Uh, got a guy named Captain Cavu, a TWA guy later with American Airlines. That is very knowledgeable, helping me out a lot here. Um, zero fuel weight is uh, 111. Eight one 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 point eight. Fuel and reserves is to get reserves. All that you have Please to do is go to the PDF. The fuel. Please use your airplane all the way to the bottom. To the desired fuel reserve quantity. plus alternate. So that's seven eight point two eight point two. Because you're gonna come. The reserve uh, re alternate is Christ Church. So you go all the way in there. Go, Mr. Approach. You got to come back to Christ Church. Uh, cruise altitude is 24,000, flight level 240. Uh, transition altitude climbing out of New Zealand is 13, descent it's a hard uh, 15. So yeah, it's a bounce ahead at 295 at 30 on the winds and minus 18. 295 at 30. That's a minus 18. That's a uh, cold. Oh, the wind. Oh, geez, what am I talking about? Temperature deviations plus five, minus eighteen. So temperature deviation is five. Yeah, that, that's no sense. Stream of consciousness. You know, you get to hear a lot of crazy stuff. Uh, so takeoff. So let's go load the electronic flight pad for the takeoff data. Remember, somebody would be doing the outside here and running the overhead. Uh, we've already updated the weight and balance. Uh, we're going to go to uh, here. We're going to go performance. I'm going to trigger this for um, NZQH for a Flaps 11 takeoff. Plenty of runway. Flaps 11. Uh, runway 20. Flaps 11. Eleven. Uh, the winds uh, 180 at 12, 180 at 10, according to the lesson plan. 180 at 10. Q and H. Go back in here. Altimeter is uh, 2988. 29.88. Uh, outside air temperature is 11 Celsius. 11, oh, I just made a mistake there, 2988, yeah, doing these streams, they're not going to be perfect, guys, if you're looking for um, a guy who's a great immersion guy, first of all, he wouldn't have his ugly face sitting there like me, um, and uh, 11 here, secondly, he'd do this over and over until he got it right, I'm not going to force a max takeoff power, our takeoff weight is... Uh, takeoff weight, you can't see it, can you? 127 even. So 126, you can put the whole thing, 126, 944. 26, 944. All right, so that's uh, set up for flaps 11. Calculate, should give us a flex temperature. Flaps 11, 50. 31, 35, 44. We'll go back to that for a second. 131. 135. 144. All right, so uh, I'll come up here while I'm thinking of it. I just click on the bugs. 31, 35, there's 44 is V2. That's our flaps up speed, and that's our slats up speed. And I'm going to put on the glare shield control panel. I'm going to put in, uh, I don't know what the runway heading is here. I need to go to the 10 9. 10 9. Navigraph charts. Christchurch. Taxi. I go to 10 9 page. Here we are at gate uh, 22, whatever. Uh, and uh, this is 196 is our runway heading. So I'm going to put that in. 
196. I'm using my Logitech panel here. 196. 196. I'm going to put a 250 in the indicated airspeed, not V2. While I'm thinking of this, I'm going to turn on the flight directors. 250. There we go. And uh, we're going to do the, uh, the clearances. The at sat one Charlie. So I'm going to come in and find out what the altitude we can expect. Sid. That's that one Quebec, rather. I'm sorry, guys. One Quebec. Let's take a look at it. Transition altitude is 13. GSS required. GNS contact search approach is 20. Da, da, da. Um, well, I'll show you what I did. Uh, category B, C, uh, 220 till 6,000. Unable to comply till ATC. It's basically uh, the departure is. We're going over Guppet from ATSAT, turn right, 227 to attack. So initially track, uh, so it's a nav departure. We'll go nav at 400 feet. We're going to track to ATSAT, and uh, initial climb is uh, doesn't have an initial climb altitude. So we'll have to get one on our clearance, hopefully. And uh, transition altitude is 13. So it's our nav, uh, we can go nav at 400 feet on that. So we don't have an altitude just yet. So I'm going to leave that in zero. Actually, what I'll do is I'll just bring it up a little bit so that we know to, know to get that. Um, okay, so the box is now loaded. They fueled us up, so that's good. We got the fuel that we wanted, and the uh, we run the overhead. I'll, you know what? Let's just do let's just do the whole the whole shebang here if you guys want to. Upper overhead, set up the observer's uh, comm panel up here. We are in the green. Can't call now. Uh, we can test the um, cargo fire. I'll do some of the tests here, or if not all of them. I haven't practiced it in a while since I got on this thing. Put, there we go. Got lights. Cargo detect loop. That's good. Let me go to flight recorder, turn it on, I'm going to hold it on. I'm going to turn some lights on here, guys. I turn lights on in the background. I know that's a waste, but if you ever uh, get into weather and it gets dark in the cockpit, you'd kind of be glad that you did. Uh, so let's come in here, and we do, do the flight recorder. The day is... Uh, January 31st. Yeah, so if you, uh, it's kind of a soup to nuts, isn't it? 31st. So you definitely want to pop around uh, on the timestamps if you want to move through all this stuff. Flight number uh, New Zealand Air 659. See how long I can remember that, right? New Zealand Air 659. I hope you enjoy this kind of stuff. I do a lot of this as leg number one for the day. Got a feeling it's our only one. Insert it. Once you insert it, you can close the uh, flight recorder on that. Okay. Uh, so let's see. The circuit breakers are all in. We go across 12 o'clock position. All of these are normal transfer switches are on. You can test the voice recorder. Sometimes you used to raise for 30 seconds. Uh, engine sync is off. Don't forget that. That comes up in our checklist later on. But we go over here in the panel. It's actually, I'm getting a little ahead of myself because really we start here. Uh, we do generator resets. Turn that back on. We don't reset the APU generator because it's already running. External power, we set up. You're welcome to check, check everything for the APU, uh, volts and freaks. External power should be disconnected. Um, I'll get that disconnected in just a second. Uh, amps and freaks are good. <clears throat> Let's go back in here. <coughs> Sorry, guys. APU air is on. Masters run emergency power. 
turn that on <clears throat> and what you look for on here is a drawer on the battery see it's drawing so uh, it tells you that it, it put the static converter on so uh, let's see that's good uh, the AC cross ties are all on auto and open you're gonna go to the fuel start pump they all look good we just have the right I found for the APU pressure is good for right now stuff house closed ignition is off <clears throat> fuel heat is off emergency lights arm you got to go to on emergency light not arm so it comes up on the EOAP uh, we'll do the seatbelt sign in a minute uh, pedo heat we'll do later uh, and all you put on here is the anti-ice which is kind of that's you know the rest of it you do as needed that's that now we're going to come back to the overhead up top Engine sink is off. Remember that. Ground prep center. Just hold this real quick. Light slope. If you hold it, it'll go through 30 Pull things. Up. I'm not sure how many, Terrain. but some. Terrain. Pull up. GPS fail light comes on. And then let's see what else we got here. Headwind. Shear. Headwind. Shear. Headwind. Shear. That's weird. And, and also Headwind. what you get here. Shear. Is wind shear? Tailwind shear. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, might as well do some of these tests while we're here, guys. Uh, stall warning one, two, and when you do that, you also check for uh, stall light here. It's kind of stream of consciousness, guys, as I mentioned, because. Sorry about that. Max speed warning. Over speed. And low goes off. Yard damper. I think you go to override here and you look for yard damper off on the EOAP. Yard damper is off. Flight recorder's off. Uh, Venturi. You, you go to Venturi if you're removing smoke. Cabin temp. You see the uh, cabin is at uh, 23 degrees Celsius. You go to supply, that's what's being put in, more like 96 degrees. It's warming up the cabin. It's kind of cold out there at 11 Celsius, 50-something degrees. Cabin temps are at uh, normal. Um, you can see the position of the uh, air going through the ducts. The uh, HP, uh, <coughs> the packs are in auto. Uh, all you do here in the pressurization, you set up for arrival. You can set up for departure. Here's like 100 feet. Um, on a short flight like this, we tended, we didn't want to forget it. It's not slewing up, uh, cooperating. But we got to go all the way up to like 1140 for going into Christchurch. And uh, so I'm going to slew that up. Normally we changed over like halfway. And just in case we came back engine out, we would leave it in there. But today, short flight, 1140, and the altimeters, 2988. And 298, that's for Christchurch. Its pressurization schedule right now, zero. And the cabin altitude is uh, 10 feet, which is good. Air conditioning override switch. We're not going to touch that. Ram air is off. Wiper stow. This is uh, to shut the door. You go to deny. Shut the cabin door. Zero there. Enunciate a test. Check all the enunciators. Call maintenance if anything was burnt out. So that kind of completes the overhead. I do a cursory look at all times at the EOAP. So far, everything is normal there. Um, I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to check my oxygen. All you do is you're going to go to a test, get a flow, make sure the flow light goes on, and you check, check your mic by pushing this button. Make sure your mic, put your mask on, make sure your mic works. Oh, COVID now, you guys aren't quite so excited to do that stuff. Um, get your com panel down here pressing number one uh, we'll be getting our ATIS and we'll do our rest of our stuff through number one if you want to toggle up enter you can hear the ground guys downstairs PA to, to copy so this is kind of an MD80 review uh, it's a FSI panel review it's basically you're watching me learn to fly the uh, Super 80 and uh, I appreciate any help you can give me but I've been studying Mustafa. Mustafa on Twitch and on YouTube has great videos on this aircraft. Shout out to him. 
Uh, we already said the bugs. Floor lights are off. Uh, bugs are set. No unwanted flags in the PFT. I've got mine on dual queue instead of single queue for my setup. Um, I want to go map mode here. Although, you know, we can go to plan and uh, bring the range way down. And what you do is you go in here, we'll check the box together. Um, and, and the index ident today is the 31st of January. Database is good through uh, 22 February, so that's good. Position in it, it knows we're at church, uh, Christ Church and it's already aligned. Well, it is aligned. We go through the route. Uh, we compare this against the uh, PDF uh, flight plan that we have. It's the AS ASDAQ uh, 1 Quebec Guppet Yankee 266 LRUV LRUV 4 Bravo Actkill and then the ILS RNAV Zulu. They're going to give us Yankee, but Zulu's the same to runway 23. Then we go through the legs. I take the time to do it. On a short flight like this, I get it done. I check the, first of all, the uh, as a at set one Quebec and I check that against the uh, nav page and I bring that over Sid I know you can't see it right now hang on a second so it's at sat with no no speeds or anything 13,000 transition gup it and then sunar and that's all uh, checks with what's on the gup it and you can see sunar up at Sunar, Upix, and Elrov, Upix and Elrov, Sunar, Upix and Elrov, climbing to flight level 240, somewhere after up next we'll start our descent. The star that we're flying starts at Elrov and takes us to Ankill, just that short little area there, and that is going to be, we'll check that now, it's really important that you kind of go through this stuff at the gate in my opinion because um, it gets really busy here we're not going to have a lot of time to brief it uh, we're going to do this uh, star into uh, Queenstown by the way the weather's here Taft that's all we get uh, it's 1012 and 180 at 10 is what is the standard weather on that profile that we put at the beginning uh, we'll show you that in a minute uh, flight and charts LRUV 4 Bravo I think they're going to give us two Bravo, but it's four Bravo. And there it is. Bring it over here where you can see it. Elrov, Pampu uh, above 15, and Ekbox above 10, and then Ankel above 10, and that terminates the arrival into the mountainous terrain. Now we're going to pick up the Arnav, it's runway 23, Arnav. Uh, what did I say? Zulu. It's runway 23. So approach. Arnav Zulu, runway 23. And this, uh, there's an Arnav approach to 23 Yankee that JP talks about. It's been changed to Zulu now. Um, and it's, it's, it's the identical route. It's a looping. Here we are. We'll be up at um, Atkill, up here in the corner. And we're going to go... We do this, guys. Get this up here where you can see it. Just want to show you this because it's going to be real busy. Uh, it's got a QN 780, 8,600 feet. Some of these are, they'll have a, a different designation, but this is an 8,600, QN 775, 8,600, 070. Uh, hold on a second, let me go to the next page. It's 7,500. See the different uh, terminology, 77, 77. Then at top, ever above 6,700. Arcing through the mountain pass as we make our descent. Min sector, by the way, is 11.4. We'll get some terrain. We may get some terrain warnings. We'll talk about that in a minute. At top, above 67. Then Q760. Seven sixty. This has a couple of other points in there for RF filing that you can't see. Q760 above 5100 and then uh, these two are these two little points here are not available to you. They're uh, just navigation points that the box is using. And then 
We're going to go over Larov at 3,300. And going down to our DA on this thing, look at this. Uh, DA 26 at 745, 2650 here with a DA of 27. 20. So we'll have our decision now too. We better have the runway as we make our turn. So let's see where we're going. We're coming in here from Act Kill. Big looping descending turn. Uh, flying in the nav and hopefully V nav. Come around over Larov at 3300. Uh, and then a left hand turn somewhere in here. Really right after Larov, we're going to hit our decision altitude. And uh, RNP required is 0.3 for the left turn turn to a very short runway back taxi to the gate. And uh, we'll talk about that. If we got a missed approach, take a look at it. Missed approach. You know, going to come up a big looping turn up the valley, climb to 4,000, at or below four, at or above four here, at or above 32, four and uh, nine. So let's see if that's even in there. Yeah, four, nine, ten. Okay, so the missed approach is in there, so we should be able to go nav at 400 feet. I, I'm only bringing this up because it's really important that you review before you take off because you're not going to have any time. And, and the one trick in there, I'll tell JP, the Arnav Zulu to 2-3 is just like the one he recommended, Arnav Yankee 2-3, which was on his uh, sim brief. Uh, you don't need to do that. So uh, probably should change that up, but it's the same ground track. So even though he'll clear his Yankee, we'll be flying the Zulu on in. Um, okay, like I said, this is a level three, so it's going to get kind of busy here. Uh, come back over the middle, and I'm going to forget things, guys. It's been a while since I did an origination pre flight on here. Um, our switch is coming off because, if you remember, we had a 50 temperature to put in here. But before I do that, I'm going to check, test the panel. That looks good, 2.04, 12 in the TAT. Looks good. Uh, I'm going to go take off flex and 50. In the flex temp, 50, and I would charge check the EPR. It's planned on 1.86 against our TPS. It should be right about 1.86. It looks like it's uh, got flaps level 11 selected in the window. Let's take a look at one thing, guys. Here, um, might as well get this set while I'm thinking about it, right? I think it said 13.2. We'll, we'll double check that when we uh, boot up the uh, A cars. We'll get it. Start getting our final numbers. 0.112. Yeah, I love this uh, add-on, guys. I'm fluid. I got a couple thousand hours in this airplane, but it's uh, it's taking me a little while to get used to it. Get, get by with a little help from my friends. Uh, it's around 13.2 and 11. And I'm just going to get that in the ballpark, and we'll double-check that in a minute. And when I do that, I look over here, and the, the dial flap is stowed. Okay, back up here. Um, so we set up the uh, flex power. We set up the temperature. Check the EPR. We need uh, 12 on the oil quantity, uh, 5 on the hydraulics. If you look, here's the oil pressure. We'll be looking for that on engine start. Uh, you'll get a little bit of a gulp on the oil quantity. We'll be we'll monitor the EGT, and uh, we'll get going from there. Let's see, uh, we've got the altimeters are set, we go right across here, 2988, all looks good, vertical speed, no unwanted flag, radar, we turn on the power, we just press, power on, and press the pot test, oh, you know what, maybe I'm not in a, yeah, i got to be in map mode to get that, so uh, that's good on both sides, it's good. And turn it off and probably set this little nose high and I go it on weather and terrain preset get both of us set nose high get the spoil levers down speed brakes retracted thrust reversers are down throttles are idle I'll go toga on here uh, just so that that changes the FMA flap lever is up dial a flap is stowed oh full valve we're gonna check the takeoff warning horn you notice the pressurization starts to close. It's a pressurized. That's a, so that's all good. Um, we would check the trim. Nose down. Nose up. Make sure that the uh, the bug moves. Up full valve is closing again. We check the manual trim here. 
and that's zero. Make sure it moves. Come across. Make sure the few control switches are cut off naturally. All right. So on the uh, transponder, let me get some lights on here. Hope this helps. If you're new on the 80, soup to nuts. Um, I like to do cold dark. I'm doing the work anyway, and I might as well uh, do it so that if anyone here is struggling with just getting the use of the airplane, you can struggle along with me. So this is uh, Air New Zealand A and Z. Up, oh, I got to clear that out. A and Z and six five nine six five nine and Z six five nine. Enter it and get ready for the squawk when that comes in. Guards over here. Uh, there's no ATIS frequency here that I could that I could find. Um, I, I've copied down the frequencies, so uh, you're going to get delivery on 28.2. So I'm going to set that up here. Yeah, it kind of is fun sometimes to see uh, if you're one of those guys that has a couple hours in your life, which most of you don't, see how guys set it up. Like I said, the timestamps will be there. 28.2 followed by ground, which is 21.9. Get that set up. Twenty one nine guards over here. A car's frequency is data here. Uh, that's good. Then you come down, check zero, zero on the rudder, elevated trim, aileron trim is zero on the yoke, and the valves are open, stab trim cutout, switch is cut out. That's basically the origination pre flight, which I haven't done for a while, guys. So um, that was fun. Got to do that. So now look what's happening here. We're, uh, we did that. That's usually done by memory. The walk around. The input, the flow, the flow. We check the box together. Then we got to make sure that we had that right, right? So usually now, sometimes the captain walks in late, or the FO, the other guy's done everything. So we go through a normal checklist. And what this normal checklist is meant to do is catch stuff we forgot. Uh, so flight recorder, uh, AIDs, age. Uh, yep. Let's do that. Check, and we checked it. If you remember when we set all the uh, the data in, information data. Alignment, we did that, we verified FMS, we checked it together, we checked the route, the legs, the progress page, made sure the correct freaks are in. Uh, FMS, emergency lights armed. If you go up here, emergency lights are armed and no light on the top. Fire detect loop, do I still have one of those on? Fire left engine. Yeah, I did. So I gotta pull that one out, there we go. Flight recorder off EOAP. Uh, I caught that, so it told me that I had one of those on. Um, always good to check the EOAP. Um, cabin signs on. And we can, uh, okay, let's do this. We got us fueled. Let's start the boarding now. It's about the amount of time we need. Request boarding. Boarding requested. Here comes the jet bridge. It's all good. I think that they'll be able to open the door by themselves, but. We can come over here and help them out. Usually, don't open the door. They don't. They'll open the door when they get here. Bay access. Here we go. Here we go. Open aft cargo door. Door. So forward mains open. Aft cargo doors open. And I'm gonna go to ground. Take off the GPU. Maintenance. Uh, nothing. Nothing's open there. And we did check the electronic technical log. Weekly checks expired. I'm not gonna go through any reported malfunctions or anything there. Uh, Electric Do flight folder. Uh, no, they're already on board. Electric flight folder, guys. That's our, that's our flight plan right there. Weather forecast. Uh, VTAR, 250 at 1 on the winds. Overcast, 14. 1002 at Christchurch. And this says 1012. But that's the correct altimeter, 1012. Just trust me, this is the real weather over here. And that's what JP has in his can scenario and that's showing up as normal on here for our, our altitude and then uh, NOTAMs we check those 
load clothes outs even on here take off weight got everything on there uh, and then we go here I'm just running through this stuff performance we did that we can actually go flight mode on here now that we're done with that uh, aircraft services we did that documents you can do normal checklist weather interrupted abnormals operating manual everything's there um, if we wanted to do normal checklist we could do that I like to call it up from the side and then when we get here you'll notice wow that's an incomplete checklist but what you're gonna do is uh, use your mouse and I uh, click and drag and the others appear uh, but I'm gonna use the uh, overhead one I did also did not hook up my Navigraph charts um, if you want to do that you can sign in use your phone to scan in it's your account but I didn't bother doing that um, yeah, yeah I'll do it because I haven't done it for a while and I'll take my phone out do this There we go. Navigraph. And I just uh, follow the directions on my phone. Sign in with Navigraph. Approve. Allow. And now your Navigraph account is successfully signed in. And if you wanted to, you could put in, uh, uh, let's say, uh, NZ, where are we? Christchurch. Nice church, standard taxi, and we just put the airport diagram up for our taxi out and have that ready to go. We're here, it's gonna be a pushback nose to the left, Alpha for runway two zero. Talk more about that in a minute. Anyway, that's some of the stuff that we have going on for us there. Let's go back to the checklist. Hey guys, I know this is laborious, but this is kind of how it goes, isn't it? Uh, just fast forward to the other parts if you want to. Stall warnings tested. Air conditioning shut off switch is auto. That's the packs. They're all, both in auto. Uh, fire protection system, we tested that. Thrust rating panel, we remember testing that. Fuel quantity, we checked it against the fuel gauge. It's good. Altimeter is 1012, set three times and cross checks with field elevation. Fuel shut off levers are off. And uh, cabin pressure lever is in auto. So that's good. Um, but we're going to keep uh, going before starts. Uh, parking brakes are set. EFB uh, flight plan is flight mode. We did that. Pneumatic pressure PSI. Look up here. And we can see that we are getting some APU bleed air. When we shut off the packs, it will go up closer to 40 for our start. This is all while they're boarding here. Engine ignition, we're going to go to system A. We'll review the start. Taxi takeoff. Uh, part of our takeoff briefing. We'll turn on our fuel pumps before we push back. And inclusion beacons, beacons will be on. Uh, they're going to put the normal econ switch to normal. We're not going to fly to an econ. Uh, air conditioning supply switches, we'll turn those off. Fuel cross feeds are open. They are open. Thrust levers are idle. And that's before start check. And the way we're going to start is engine ignition. We'll use A since I'm flying. And uh, pedostatic heaters, uh, that's just after. Uh, that's off, rather. Um, we're going to go uh, after start engine ignition off and uh, pedostatic on. Anti ice if required, we're not going to need it today. Air conditioning supplies auto, that's a big one. Door cue lights off. Hydraulic system checked and set. That's when we turn on the aux pump and the transfer pump. That's our plan. On the on takeoff, we're going to go 400 feet at nav. Uh, we'll, we'll nav, I'll call for uh, 400 feet, I'll call for nav. 1,000 feet, I'll call for half rate on the vertical speed, about 1,200 feet per minute. And then climb power on the uh, TRP. And then flaps up and slats up. 15 degrees of bank until 227. Until 230, 15 degrees of bank. Uh, make sure we do that. Okay, that's a takeoff brief for the uh, taxi out. We're going to nose left, taxi. Taxi out. We'll go to uh, Christ Church. Taxi out. This is part of the takeoff brief, guys. Push back with tower, nose left, and uh, going to 220 via Alpha. And that looks like Alpha 2 
all the way out there, we'll take off and we'll do our RNAV departure. So here we are. We've got our checklist complete. We're almost done boarding. Uh, so we'll take a look around the airplane. But this is, we have yet to opera, open FSI panel 2020 and uh, start the scenario because I'm just going to wait till I'm really ready to go. But remember, I did that before I ever opened Microsoft Flight Simulator. I made sure I downloaded the correct scenario, set all my presets correctly, uh, read, the, read the sim brief, and did all that. We'll do that when we get going here. Um, hang on a second. Let's go outside. Looks like they're still loading cargo. Interesting jet bridge. That's been quite a uh, quite a run in there. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Yeah, hello. Okay, so uh, let's go back inside. Beautiful Christchurch, New Zealand. Back inside, and I had my EFB button still pushed. I'm going to turn the seatbelt sign on. We'll say within five minutes. And now we're going to talk the scenario because we got a lot to brief on that too. So now everything's loaded. You're kind of ready to go. You can open up FSI panel. Uh, FSI panel, yes. Via the icon on your desktop. Here it is. And we'll talk a little bit about the profile. A lot of it we've already covered. FSI panel. There it is. Mad Dog MD82. So it knows we're here. Those were at Christchurch. You can change the runway if it was the incorrect runway. 2-0 if you wanted to do any pattern work. You can put yourself here. We already talked about that. Um, failures, you can program failures here. Uh, we've, we've, that's for another video. But here we go, training scenarios. In the setup we already did, we got the statue miles. We've got the uh, correct database. We, we defined what a downwind is by this setup here. We can put the, how far you want to be and what altitude. Um, that's for training exercises. Pretty, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, and then you come up here in MD Mad Dog. You make sure whatever you want for landing flaps, medium. That's for if you're beaming around. Uh, you can see it's fly-by-wire, PMDG, Phoenix, and other aircraft, but whatever's on premium. You go to open the scenario manager. I went to MD82, A320. So I think the horizon will be coming on here. MD82. These are all that are available. In the green means you've already downloaded at some point. You can see that I did the uh, Boston to JFK. Those are the two I did. I've only done two. It's at level one, the easiest one, uh, though I was humping. And then uh, take the re repositioning the aircraft flight from KJFK with the runway change to LaGuardia. It's a level two, a little more difficult. But the one we're doing today, Air New Zealand Flight 659, is a level three. And you can see because it's in green, I've already downloaded it. Uh, I'm going to click on it, open the lesson plan. I did all this before I ever signed on. You can read up as much or as little as you want. A uh, 30 minute flight from Christchurch to Queenstown in New Zealand. Set your weather to the FSI AN 659 preset. And uh, if you remember, I don't know if it was on this, you see the weather. You go to uh, FSN. If you look at it, know the presets, live, clear skies. You, if you slew all the way down, there it is. FSI Air New Zealand 659. Here's for the JetBlue flight I did from Boston. This was the repositioning. But we have selected the appropriate weather, and they said to set the departure time around 10 a.m. or so. So that's good. Let's go back in here. Challenging RNP approach procedure in Queenstown. Uh, RNP 25, 23 Yankee DBUs. We're going to use the RNP 23. Zulu, which is the same thing, used for CATC and CATD aircraft. I'm not sure we even are. You can download the RNP approach chart here. I don't need to do that. We're going to use Zulu. Uh, thanks to Vatsim uh, New Zealand for their for all the information. Uh, runway 20, stand 18 to 20, or we're at like uh, stand 22. Weather preset, we've got that set. If you selected aircraft off as full cockpit functionality, the FSF panel will automatically configure everything for you. Without this feature, you need to do the cockpit manually. Way to do it manually. Uh, and here's the clearance. And that can, uh, make sure that is consistent with what you're doing on your uh, SIM brief or change it on SIM brief. 
but this is it. Uh, you can download it. I had a little trouble with downloading it off the Simbray flank. The fuel was too high. Here's the weather. Uh, there's not an ATIS for uh, Church. Oh, oh, we went, you know, Christchurch in Queenstown. Kind of noticed this. There's a little bit of rain in Christchurch. Uh, 180 at 8 on the winds. 180 at 7 at Queenstown. And the weather's about exactly the same. 1012s and 11 and 11 on the temperature. So the weather's the same as here. So when we set the altimeters, we're looking for 1012 and we transition back down. All right, so procedure. Start Microsoft Flight Simulator at, in Christchurch, gates 18 to 27, we're at 22. Set the preset weather, we did that. Make sure the aircraft is powered, engine off. Uh, start FSI panel. Okay, it's fine. And then we're gonna start, F and then start and select the scenario. And uh, check the tips if you want. The scenario requires you to switch frequencies, read back, ATC. Uh, you can hit the say again button if you need to. Uh, here's our pushback right about here, 22 on out. We talked about that. Tips for the scenario. If you don't want any tips, don't, don't, don't look at this. But um, follow to run, taxi to runway 20, follow Alpha to holding point Alpha 2. That's what we're going to get. Uh, LBAB uh, arrival terrain. Pay attention to the minimum altitude terrain. Hey, where is the um, terrain override? It's right down here. Let me show you something. You're going to get a lot of terrain. If you're VFR, you can come down and hit terrain override if you wanted. Uh, if you're if you're VMC conditions, you don't want to do that if you're in IMC conditions. But as we make our approach into Queenstown, you're going to see we're going to be transitioning. It's going to be terrain, terrain, pull up. We can come down here in between my legs here and hit terrain override. I digress. Had a pre-brief on a lot of this. Once clear for the approach, leave holding pattern. Oh, we might have to hold. Inbound track, left-hand turns, and uh, very close to the terrain, might experience EPWS. Uh, standard operating procedures may allow you to inhibit terrain F BMC conditions. For this scenario, assume that you are authorized to do so. However, if you see lateral or vertical profile getting out of tolerance, execute a missed approach. Uh, final on flaps 23. Once on final, check for your pappy and fly the aircraft smoothly to the runway and uh, land. 7,000-foot runway, turn around on the runway, left turn, turn off, coming back into the gate. Uh, do not use heavy braking to try to vacate A3 just because uh, they're going to have you backtrack anyways. And feedback, join Discord here for if you wanted to. Um, anyway, I thought we'd go over that. All right. Then I'll come back in here. I'll do the FSI panel. Looks like they're done boarding. Okay, sounds like they're done boarding. And then we Simbri flight plan. You can download it here. We have our own that matches it. I just found that this was messing me up with the fuel. I want the electronic flight bag to agree with what we have over here. You know what I haven't done? I have not set the zero fuel weight in the fuel panel. So let's do that right now. And uh, zero fuel weight is 111.809. 111.809. One eleven, eight oh nine. Otherwise, our takeoff weight, gross weight, is not going to be correct. And we also have to initialize the eight cars. One eleven, eight oh nine. It's a long way. Tipperelli. Yeah, I hope this is what you're looking for. Uh, it's it's a lot, but. It's kind of a soup to nuts presentation, isn't it? On uh, FSI panel scenario and uh, on the uh, on the Mad Dog, and I'm kind of speaking out loud, guys, because I'm learning this airplane. Even though when I've flown it, I forget most of it. Um, it's been several airplanes in between with the airlines. 111.8. That's our zero fuel weight and takeoff weight. We're looking for 126.9, 127.6, and that all makes sense. One thing that I need to do, not really, but we're going to do it anyway. I'm going to go to uh, index menu, rather, A cars. I'm just going to get the A cars booted up just to say we did. All right. And uh, init data, init request. Just thinking about it, init request. There it is. Go return. Weight and balance. I'm going to fill this up. Trip fuel is uh, 
So total length of the fuel looks like uh, 5.9. Taxi fuel is 8. 5.98. Uh, tax trip fuel. It's uh, 5,900. Taxi fuel, 800. And block fuel, 15.7. Uh, public typing. Always interesting. Block fuel is good. Send that. Return. Flight plan. We'll get a weight and balance sheet here. We'll get a... Uh, fuel log that we're able to use which should be cool I'm going to go return messages crew message uh, takeoff weight CG's 13.9 takeoff weight 126.6 that all makes sense 111.5 zero fuel weight 111.5 to zero fuel weight load sheet new crew message that's good return load sheet good page one of four so i gotta go one two three four there's our flight plan return flight plan new you gotta get rid of these you'll have the messages one all the way through there's our fuel log if we needed it and uh looks like uh load sheet final load is here so if you at one one eleven six and uh looks good acknowledge it go page two and we're looking for a takeoff weight cg 112 8 12 8 flaps 11 get green bug set green bug is set okay let's go up here and i think i'm going to get gsx going before i activate the scenario since they boarded, uh, request uh, pushback and departure will get started going here. We're not going to start engines here, no. Nope. And uh, okay, we still don't have our clearance. And so now we're going to go into FSX. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. We're going to put our scenario in here. Download scenario. We did that already. Okay, I'm gonna close this out. Departure checks complete. Okay, come to training scenario. And uh, a couple of things here. We gotta disable all failures. I've got that. Um, we're going to pick the one we want, which is ANZ 659. We're going to start training here in a second. Start training. And it's going to be tail left here. Downloading scenario pack. Please stand by. Remember now, we're, we're basically turning on the ATC here. Um, please set up your, as per the lesson plan, we did that. Scenario 659. Scenario starts now. Contact clearance delivery for clearance available on 23. ATIS available 2345. So let's do ATIS on number two. 2345. And I'm just going to turn off GSX for now. 2345. Let's see if I can get that set. 23 come to 2345 using my Logitech here it's a little less painful to watch we'll listen to the ATIS and then we'll call for clearance Twenty three forty five. listen to that Surface wind 180, 08 knots, visibility 10 kilometers or more, recent rain, cloud few 2,500 feet, scattered 8,000. This is Christchurch Information Quebec, runway in use 20 ILS approach, surface wind 180, 08 knots, 
visibility 10 kilometers or more, recent rain, cloud few 2,500 feet, scattered 8,000 feet, temperature 11, dew point 7, QNH1012, transition level flight level 140, showers in the vicinity, acknowledge received Christchurch information Quebec. All right, so uh, let's get this 21.5 for guard over here. Put that over. We've got our ATIS. I didn't want to hit acknowledge until um, I already got the ATIS because it's going to send me right over for clearance. Clearance available is uh, available on um, 28.2. And that's information from Quebec. And Christchurch, Air New Zealand. 659 gate 22 information Quebec request clearance to Queenstown very good morning uh, New Zealand 659er you are clear to Queenstones on way 20 as stacked one Quebec departure transition go put climb initially 5,000 feet and your scope is 3215 okay Air New Zealand 659 clear to Queenstown uh, runway 20 Aztec uh, one Quebec transition guppet Climb 5000, squawk 3215. Read back is correct. When ready for push, contact the round. Frequency 121, the Simon 9 or have a safe flight. Okay, thank you. 219 for pushback for Air New Zealand 659. All right, a couple of things to set there, right? Number one is uh, 5000 in the window. And number two, squawk was 3215. We already set the, the Air New Zealand 656 and ATC 3215. And enter that. And I'm going to turn this to TARA. Pretty much it. So now we have clearance over here. There's ground. Uh, tower is going to be 184. I wrote down all the frequencies, guys. Tower 18.4. All right, so we get ground set. Now, remember, these frequencies should change the secondary by themselves. And uh, we have that program as well as the uh, after landing check should be done by the FO. Uh, but uh, that's down the road. All right, let's go back to the checklist. And uh, make sure we get the normals here. Four star parking brake is set. EFB is flight mode. We did that. Nomadic pressure PSI we checked. I'm going to go up in here and uh, I'm going to request pushback. Uh, go GSX. I'm going to go continue pushback. And I'm going to call for um, pushback now. Price Church ground, Air New Zealand 656 at gate 22 to push back and start engines. Very good morning, uh, New Zealand 659er. Push and start approved facing northeast. Report ready for taxi. Air New Zealand 659, good morning, and push and start approved and face northeast. We'll call for taxi. All right, that's nose left, guys. Here we go. Release parking brakes, please. Brakes released. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. Clear start. Okay, guys, so the first thing we do is get the packs off, right? We got the APU running. Uh, watch the air here. Uh, we've got right about the top of the green band. But once we turn those packs off, the packs are off. We're going to have to get the uh, beacon on, get the collision on. Put this one to auto. Uh, let's go back to up here. I'm going to use uh, start A because I'm flying. I'm going to start number two first. I'm going to get the fuel pumps all on. And we're going to run the checklist real quick. See what I forgot, which I'm sure some of you are screaming there. After start, before start, pneumatic pressure, PSI. You can see, uh, wow, we're really, really got plenty of pressure for start, don't we? Um, is that true? Packs are off. Fuel air is off. Fuel pumps on. 
Yeah, hang on a second, guys. Pneumatic pressure, there it is, 40. From the other angle, it looked like the needle was way over here. There it is, pneumatic pressure is 40. That's good. Yeah, that's strange. A little simism there. Uh, checklist. Any ice uh, before start, any collision lights are on. Strobes are on. Okay, come on, I have to lift off automatically. Beacons are on, nav's on. Normal. Air conditioning supply switches are off. Pneumatic levers are open. Thrust level is idle. Set the parking brakes. Waiting your confirmation for a good engine start. I'm going to get rid of them, guys. It's kind of what we do. Engines not started. Yeah, stop here. Cockpit to ground. We have a good engine start. You can disconnect. Unlocking gear. All right, let's go to the overhead and get the engine started, guys. So we got the A selected. I'm going to hold this till 40%. I'm going to come down. First thing I look for is an oil uh, pressure on the engine. I'm going to look for max motoring or 20. Once I bring that level, we need ignition within 10 seconds. There's 20, and that's all we're getting today. Up, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. We got an ignition. Oil pressure's good. I go 2, 4, 6. So this is going to be around 2, round 4, round 6. And the engine ice, we're, we're, above, we're above 10, so no visible moisture anyway, so... Okay, 40%, we got to release the start switch. Start number two. And we can come down here. And we can uh, close the cross feed. Turn on one of the packs, right? Somehow, I think I just turned off. Um, let me do one thing, guys. Sorry. Yeah, I turned off the... Uh, cabin temp by accident there uh, so let's do uh, this press and hold it I gotta give this person the salute they're standing out there you see him so I'm gonna flash the light and they're leaving all right max motoring we're looking for 10 uh, 10 seconds we get the 20% uh, got oil pressure Max motoring, two levers on. Start the clock because we need ignition within 20 seconds. Got ignition. Looking for 40%. And at 40%, we'll be able to uh, go back to the overhead. There's 40. Let go of the switch. Two normal starts. Ignition's off. And no engine ice necessary. Pito's on. One, you can go through and check all those, all the pedo static, rat probe, everything's uh, looking good, rat probe's not, but, uh, and let's do the parking, check the EOAP, parking brakes APU generator. And uh, we, got the, we can get the packs on. We can get the APU, uh, off. We'll leave the uh, bus switches on. Close the cross feed. I come up and I check the pressure. And good. Okay, checklist. Flaps 11, please. And I'm going to go uh, over here on the box before we do anything else. I heard a final load closeout, I think. Message, acknowledge, acknowledge, viewed. Nope, not that. Uh, let me go to the overhead just before I get started and see if there's anything that bothers me. Tenant lights, they already chimed us to tell us they're ready ready for taxi. Um, all right, let's do the checklist. Stream of consciousness, so don't forget to uh, correct me. I know Captain cavu has got a lot of time on the airplane. He seems to know exactly what he's talking about. He's helped me a lot. I really do appreciate that, guys. So, uh, checklist, after start. Engine ignition is off. Keto static switch is on. Captain, we check those. Airfields not required. Airfoil, rather. Air conditioner supply switches to auto. Door Q light is checked off. Hydraulic system checked and set. So that's what I forgot to do. 
So we come over here and we turn on the transfer pump after engine start and the aux pump's on. Okay, and uh, it should do it on the taxi check uh, after start. So before takeoff check, runway data, we update our zero fuel weight in the box. I think it was 111.5 and down to the uh, box, a knit. 111.5 now, 111.5, 111.5, and 111.5 on the fuel gauge over here. I set 111.5, looks good. And we check uh, green bug, we, we reset the uh, closeout CG, closeout flaps, that's all good. So uh, this is all before takeoff. Fuel balance is good. We're uh, 7.8, 7.7. That all looks good. Uh, brake temps are checked. It's easy enough, right? Brake temps, see they're nice and cool. All good. Ignition to both before takeoff. EOAP checked. Um, so we got to go to both to take off. One more thing, guys. Um, it doesn't have any indication that I'm aware of for the spoilers or the uh, auto brakes. It's kind of a, I don't know. I'm those. Auto brakes. Let's take off. We'll go. All right, guys. That's uh, good. I think we're ready to go. And make sure we're on 21.9. We are, and we're transmitting over here on number one. And Christchurch ground, Air New Zealand 659 taxi. Roger, New Zealand 659 Air taxi holding point Alpha 2 via Alpha taxiway. Air New Zealand 659 taxi holding point Alpha 2 via Alpha taxiway. All right, let's do it. Uh, brakes are off. And let's taxi. And we'd be checking our, our takeoff data. We check our glacial control panel. We talk about the takeoff. We're planning on doing a flaps 11 takeoff. 400 will be nav. Weather radar will be on. Matter of fact, we can just turn that on now. Set that up. Nav, we're going to 5,000. Transition altitude uh, on the climb is 13. If we come back in, it's 14. Down at uh, Queenstown, it's 15. We'll go nav at 400 feet at 1,000. We're going to go half half rate, go vertical speed, then half rate, and climb power checked. Clean up the flaps, clean up the slats. Uh, clean in maneuver, 15 degrees of bank until we're cleaned up. And above clean in maneuver. So as we pass like 227, we'll go. We've got a 220 till 6,000 is our speed that we're supposed to be doing. 220 till 6. Uh, we can get relief on that. We'll, maybe we'll assume we did. Um, and transition, as I mentioned, is 13. Come back here on the engine out. There's no engine out profile. It's uh, 3,000 feet. And we'll come back into this runway. Any questions? No questions. So MCP and radio. Okay, uh, MCP. Uh, it's every aircraft, guys. 250, runway headings in there. We'll be using NAV at 400. 5,000 is our initial altitude. 13,000 transitions checked. Runway 20. I checked my uh, map display for runway 20. Okay, stab trim. We checked that. It's green bug. And CG and flaps are setting. These are, these are not uh, on the checklist for Leonardo. I'm just things that we do on our checklist taxiing out all these years. I should have uh, nose lights on. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff, please. That's done two minutes prior. And when takeoff's imminent, we'll assume it's imminent. I'll chime them.
they didn't give us permission to turn over. Uh, Tower Freak is 118.4. That's preset there. I'm not thrilled with this seating position here. Hang on. That's a little better. Let me reset that. Uh, flight controls. Check that taxiing out. Rudders are good. I'd hold on to nose with the steering. And he checks the FO, checks the yoke back and forth. And I might as well get my yoke visible again. All right. We'll say uh, we're clear. They're going to give us takeoff clearance. We're going to go bright. Landing lights on. Ignition to both. Got that stuff. Ah, I stalled out here. Sorry about that. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying this, guys. Yeah, like I may, uh, said, I will do some transcript uh, bookmarks uh, for the video if you want to skip through parts. But if you're new to the MD82 like me or you're new to uh, FSI panel, it probably helps to go through everything. JP over there has a Discord channel. Uh, it also has a lot of videos on most everything. If you do a profile and it comes out good, which I'm hoping this one does, send the link to JP and he may use it as a sample so the next guy that comes through on an MD-82 trying to do this profile can view yours and how you did on it. Um, yeah, if it didn't come out good, don't do it. But if it came out pretty good, um, we'll see about this one, right? Uh, then send it on over to him. If you want to know where you are in the airfield, ground, there it is. Alpha 2 is down at the very end. Motoring, huh? New Zealand 6590 contact tower 1 on 8.4. I have a safe flight. Bye bye. Contact Tower 18-4. Bye-bye. Air New Zealand 659. All right. So I'm going to wait till I get up here to do that, guys. So I want to get departure set up. little simism. All right. I'll hold short at this holding short point here. Make sure one last perusal. Stop it right here. Every time you stop the aircraft, parking brakes. My little gem there. Okay, EOAP looks good. Overhead looks good. Uh, flight attendants look good. Okay, and uh, we're going to put in tower here. And on the other side is departure. 120.9. So there's uh, tower, departure. All right, let's go. Checklist for takeoff, take temps, engine ignition is both. EOAP is checked. We did all that. All right, guys, let's get going. Christchurch Tower, Air New Zealand 659 is ready for takeoff, runway 20. New Zealand 659, our tower, good morning. Runway 20, line up and wait. Good morning, line up and wait, runway 20, Air New Zealand 659. All right, guys, let's go. So this is FSI panel 2020 from Microsoft Flight Simulator. I highly recommend it. If you're a serious pilot and you want to practice approaches, it's great. Uh, if you're trying to get ready for VATSIM, helps you with the radio communications. Uh, a lot more to VATSIM than that, isn't there? But uh, anyway, so we should get our lights on bright, our strobes armed. Uh, I'm going to turn all the lights on here as if we're clear for takeoff just to get ahead of myself here. Looks like runway 20. Always cross check the HSI with that with proper heading. He said line up and wait. New 
New Zealand 659 runway 20, wind 180 at 8 knots. Gear for takeoff, passing 1000 feet, contact departure 1209 er Have a safe flight. Air New Zealand 659 runway 20, clear for takeoff and passing 1000, departure 20.9. Thanks a lot. All right, 1.4 in the Eper. Auto throttles on, please. Takeoff thrust set. Looking for 1.86. It says 1.86 on the Eper. Clamp. That's 80 knots cross check acceleration. Throttles are clamped. 80 knots cross check. Check. Hands off the throttles so you don't board above V1. Right in Positive the command route. bars. You're up. First thing we're looking for is 400 feet here. Gear up, lights out. Autopilot's on, guys. 400 feet, I'm going to go nav. Wait for 1,000. Thousand feet half rate, go vertical speed. Half rate, we'll just go down to about uh, a thousand guys. And then climb power. Stabilizer motion. Climb thrust set. Above flap C, flaps up. And we're out of a thousand, we can contact a departure. Flap zero. And departure, Christchurch departure. Air New Zealand 659 is out of. 1,800 for 5,000. New Zealand 659er, good morning. Identified, continue climb 1, 2,000 feet, QNH 1012. 1012, climb to 1, 2,000 feet. Good morning, uh, Air New Zealand 659. All right, so slats are coming up, guys. There we go. So we're nav track, vertical speed approaching. I can probably go V nav here. Got V nav, 1, 2,000's arm, nav track. Here we go, 13,000 is our transition. Uh, let's do uh, spoilers disarm. We're going to go auto brakes are off. Engine ignition off. Checklist. All right, three for two. We should have our yeah, radar is on. All right, checklist, please. I've take off brake temps checked. I didn't do that. Brake temps are checked. Landing gears up, lights out, auto brakes are off, spoil levers retracted, flaps and slats are up retracted, ignition is off, center tank pump, we don't need altimeters to go. So after take off, checklist is complete. Yeah, you'll see it's a very short flight. I keep the heading bug by the way. Kind of slewed around wherever I am, in case I get vectors. The uh, got to tell you what they. Um, this is this. You'll be humping on this flight to do everything right, especially since the vertical nav. Yeah, we'll see how it does today, but it's generally a little difficult. I did it last time, and I could not get the box to make any sense. I entered holding, which we'll do today, and then the box dropped all the points and. Um, I just came in and kind of did it visually through the mountains and landed. Definitely not a publishable event. So I think I figured it out because now I know that the RNAV 23 Zulu is the same as the RNAV Yankee runway 23. Um, so I'll be able to set that up. And I, as we did in the pre flight, as you saw, we've already verified that in the box. And we're done messing around with the. Uh, Ox pumps, we can actually probably come right down here. Turn the transfer pump off. Ox pump off. We could even go to low on the hydraulic pumps to give them a rest. I think that's what the procedure is. All right, next thing we're looking for is that 10. We're in VNAV and track. Notice I'm not jumping ahead. 
and doing anything right now, I'm flying the airplane. Engine 659 error, contact uh, Chris Charge Control, 129 decimal 3. Have a safe journey. 193, uh, thanks a lot for Air New Zealand 659. Okay, so it should have auto tuned that for me. Uh, there it is, 29.3. Christchurch Control, Air New Zealand, 659 out of 10,000 for 12,000. New Zealand 659, Air Christchurch Control, uh, good morning, you're identified. Flab, flag level 180. Good morning. Uh, climb flight level 180 for Air New Zealand 659. Okay, 180, 180, and it's armed. Out of 10, it's accelerating. We can also turn off the uh, landing lights. Retract. Retract. And uh, we can desterilize the flight attendants. good looking for altimeters uh, so they are yeah everything's going really well so far so hopefully I'm uh, I'm gonna uh, publish this no matter what on the arrival probably unless it's just too too poor there's gonna be holding uh, there's gonna we'll, we'll do that holding left hand turn then then we're gonna resume the arrival yesterday it did not want to resume the arrival uh, normally what you do is just go direct to the next fix or exit hold couldn't get any of that to happen. Uh, a little discouraging. But like I said, I came down kind of doing it off the FMC, flying it. The lines were all, all over the place. And I was able to command and land and taxi the gate. But I thought, I can do better than that. And I, what I did figure out was that Arnav Yankees 2-3 is the same as Arnav Zulu 2-3. So it's going to be a little cleaner this time. My big thing is out of holding, will I be able to reposition it to execute the uh, star into uh, Queenstown through mountainous terrain. Pretty cool. This stuff is just great. I highly recommend FSI panel, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Uh, and we're out of uh, 13, so we got to get the altimeters. 2992, 2992, 2992 over here. Climbing 18, we're looking for 24. Electronic flight bag. I'll get a little bit of work done. If you want to figure out, this is interesting. If you want to figure out what your landing weight's going to be, right? We're presently at 125.1 down here. If we go to here, some brief. We're coming up on just on at sat, and that's a 2,000, but we're landing with six, so minus four, so it's going to be 121 landing weight. 121 is how you do the uh, 121. So we're going to go to landing. Uh, we're going to go to NZQN. You did in 659. Maintain flight level 180. You have a crossing traffic 12 o'clock, 15 miles, the Boeing 747. Maintain flight level 180. Uh, negative contact in the traffic for Air New Zealand 659. Uh, runway, it, let's see, runway 23. Uh, dry flaps. We're going to use 40. Wind the same, 180 2. Altimeter is 2988. It's the same. Temperature is 11. That's the same. Uh, and landing weight, and we said 121. We'll put in 122. Add a few pounds for Mama. Calculate. Just thinking about it. And there it is. Up retracted, uh, go around, the approach 132 over here click the bugs and there they're set here comes 18 we're looking out for the traffic nothing on the TCAS yeah you can get so much work done at the chalks there guys what I learned last time is I was really busy here briefing the arrival briefing trying to figure out that where is 2-3 Yankee on the arrival well it's really Zulu the approach to two zero. What is also confusing is the star takes you way out, and the approach is actually from 30 miles out through the mountains. So it's kind of disorienting that you jump off the at Astig, you jump off the arrival, and you all the way you're on the approach as you, that RNM approach to weave through the mountains. Uh, if there was a cruise checklist, we'd do that. I probably would get the uh, aux pumps to 
off and the hydraulic pumps too low. I do a fuel check. We compare that against the fuel log. We turn off the seatbelt sign, make a PA, let the people run around. New Zealand 659 Ariano, clear of the traffic. Plan 5120. Here in New Zealand 659, climb maintain flight level 240. Alright, flight level 240 is set. Climb thrust is still set. I hit VNAV. We're climbing up to uh, 240. And there it goes. The way I did that, guys, I dialed in 240 and I pressed VNAV again. And that brought the throttles up. And that's uh, a climb power. And of course, we're making sure we have climb power set. Yeah, no flight is perfect. And this one won't be. But it's going to be thorough. It definitely is. Uh, JP and the uh, FSI panel team has a lot of videos. So when you pick a scenario, it may say, would you, would you like a training scenario on this video? And if someone has done one that the FSI panel thinks is adequate, they will post that so you can actually watch it ahead of time and kind of get the rhythm of things. Things like this will be hopefully be your example for uh, going into Queenstown out of Christchurch on a Mad Dog 82. Um, you could use this if you're flying the 7.3 or the Phoenix or anything else, but uh, it's, you know, be most effective, obviously, on the Mag Dog 82. Big thing is, what do we get out of that? Let's go back, recap. It's always what, tell what you tell them, uh, tell them, tell them what you're going to tell them, and tell them what you told them. No. Tell them what you're going to tell them, tell them, tell them what you told them. That's what it is. We started off by going to FSI panel. We set up the scenario. We downloaded the scenario, made sure the weather was downloaded. Uh, we reviewed the training scenario, we wrote down frequencies, wrote down the clearances, kind of be ready to go. Uh, everything's organized. Then you start Microsoft Flight Simulator. You sign on to the one of the parking spots they, they wanted you to do off the training brief. You sign on to the, make sure you're in the weather, preset weather that they told you to use. And then you can go ahead and... Uh, Start doing your entire pre-flight, get everything done. But ten, you're not even doing FSI panel, so you got a sim pre-flight plan. I would use theirs. I use the one off there, real time, and uh, come back in if you have a sim brief account. Come back in and do the entire pre-flight, ready to go. Everyone's boarded. Push back, pre-push back check is complete. You've gone through the normal checklist, and you say, okay, we're ready to push back. I get the tug moving over. Then I go to FSI panel and start the scenario, start the training under the training scenario. I select your Queenstown, uh, Churchill, Queenstown, start training, everything's in the box. Six, five, nine, er, on the way to three in use in Queenstones, you are clear to head over for Bravo arrival. And Air New Zealand 659, runway 23, or copy that, and we are cleared for the LRUV for Bravo. All right, guys, he did not say we're clear to descend, so we can't set anything in the altitude yet. We're cleared for the arrival, which is what we've got programmed in our box, the LROV for Bravo. And there we are, leveling. Uh, so let's take a look at the, the arrival. We already kind of did, right? And uh, LROV for Bravo. And we already checked the altitudes on here. Elrov, see that it ends at Atkill. Atkill. And then when we go to the approach, Arnav Zulu, right here. Arnav Zulu, he's going to clear his Yankee. Arnav Zulu, you can see that it starts a two transition, but this one is right off Atkill. We already checked those points on in, winding through the mountains, descending. Uh, don't forget the terrain. If we're via VMC conditions as we transition to the final, we can reach down between our uh, legs and uh, disable the um, terrain override to get rid of those warnings. Or you can land with them going. We'll be flaps 40. Index. Let's come here. Index. Approach. Flaps 40. And we've got all our speeds set. 
There we are. We can start looking at the descent check just to brief ourselves up, right? Descent check. MSA checked. We checked on that. Um, actually, let's let's take a look at the uh, actual approach. MSA here is 11.4, and the approach touchdown zone is 11.71. Anytime you check touchdown zone, you check your pressurization panel, 11.71, and the altimeter is 2.988. So we're set for depressurization. Descent check. Uh, check uh, landing data is confirmed. V bugs are two Radio altimeter marker. Uh, this one is a monster. So um, if you look at the radio altimeter, we're going down to our decision altitude is 1,538 feet above the ground. That's a 2709. So I said 2709 on the orange bug here. Oh, where'd it go? There's no orange bug here. Interesting. Don't know what to say about that. There it is, 2709. It's a white bug. But I'll set the... Um, first time I've seen that 2700 and if you wanted to 1541s are your minimums so you could go and set this is going to take a long time set right here if you wanted to set in 1541 well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set in uh, I use this for my minimums and here I'll just send uh, 200 feet as we transition to land just so we'll get the warble at around 300 and we'll get uh, minimums at 200. I'm not going to set 1541 because it would just take me too long. But you know, in the aircraft, you could actually set in. Uh, actually, it's 2709. We're going to set in 200 radio altimeter. Close enough. All right. So we talked about the arrival already. We'll talk about the approach and how we're going to fly it. So it's uh, we're going to come in. We've met all these altitude restrictions, winding through, descending, keeping it in view nav. Hopefully, uh, we may have to just do it manually with vertical speed and level change. Lara over 3,300, uh, 345. We got that at 2,650, going down to uh, 1,500 feet above the ground. So essentially, it's VMC as you make your approach. We talked about the terrain and uh, a big left-hand turn, right-hand turn to a left-hand turn. Landing on 27, the missed approach is in the box, and we already reviewed that, but it's basically left-hand turn, head up the valley, and you got a couple of crossings. So if we have to go missed approach, we uh, go in around Toga, uh, and we go flaps. We'll be at 40, bring them up, 15. Positive rate gear up, set missed approach altitude. Missed approach altitude is going to be 9,000 feet, because these are outer aboves. 9,000 feet, and then we'll, uh, at 1,000 above the ground, we'll start cleaning it up, flaps up, flats the track speed, flaps up, flats the track speed, slats up, we'll go, uh, and uh, probably go flight level change, level change indicated airspeed, climbing on up at 250 to 9,000, out the valley and head back probably to Christchurch if that's the case, but after landing, talk about this a little bit. Runway 2-3, uh, left-hand turn off. We've got to go down the end of the runway and turn around. If we get down slowed enough, we can go turn off at Alpha 3 and taxiing in to Gate 2. That's what it said on the box. Bravo 2, that's pretty much off Alpha 3, a Romeo 2, straight ahead. So if we get off the second taxiway, if we're stopped, otherwise it's going to do a 180 and be the first taxiway. Alpha 3, right on in. I've got a program so the FO does the checklist. See about that, right? New Zealand 6590, when ready, descend at flight level 150. When ready, descend at flight level 150 for Air New Zealand 659. Okay, 150 is set. And it's in here. I don't think the box thinks we're descending for quite a while. Go up here. We go to map mode, guys. Yeah, top of descent, it says in uh, 20 miles. We'll see the vertical track indicator coming down. 
We'll see if I can get it to do uh, VNAV descent. We'll start down nice and easy. Right now, I'd be making a PA to the people, tell them the landing weather, and uh, which we already checked. We we'll get our next frequency approach control. We're at Christ Church control is 2575. Well, it looks like they're setting those automatically for us, aren't they? That'll be approach. We get the appropriate ATIS. I'm waiting for the top of descent here on the uh, nav display. If not, we'll start down. We know that's where it's supposed to be. Uh, we, can, we should have checked our box for uh, cruise, 288, descent, 285. That looks good. Top of descent. Expecting it to start down shortly. Looks like five miles, which is 30 seconds. Four miles is 30 seconds. Maybe a little more. See if it starts down. Otherwise, we'll uh, hit VNAV and start it down. You could do descent now, right? And that'll uh, start down too. Intercept the drive path on the box. Descent now. I just want to see. We did on six five nine zero for further contact. Uh, Queenstone's approach frequency is one two five decimal seven five. I wish you a safe landing. See you next time. Okay, one two five seven five. Thanks a lot for Air New Zealand six five nine. Hey okay, guys, it intercepted the VTI. One two five. Seven two five seven five looks good. And Queenstown approach, Air New Zealand six five nine. We have the ATIS for out of flight level two three zero for one five zero. New Zealand six five nine over Queenstown's approach. Very good morning. Descend one zero thousand feet to be and hold for Bravo arrival. QNH is 1012 and you are currently number two for the approach. Expect uh, ordering over Equivox. Okay, uh, Air New Zealand 659 descendant 10000, LRAV 4 Bravo arrival, QNH 1012, uh, and we'll expect holding over Equivox. Okay, so we get to do some holding here. Um, we're going to go to hold, uh, legs page. Equivox is there. So, uh, if we go to holding, next hold, X box, and uh, 217 is the inbound, and it's left hand turns. I looked that up on the approach plate. I did it last night, but I'll double check it. Sure, I got it, and execute it. We're going to execute it. We're assuming we're doing it. Uh, it says uh, 285. We'll just hold it 285. Pattern's done that. It's, uh, we'd get permissions. I think 265 is the maximum up here, but we'd get permission for 285. Uh, let's double check that holding pattern. It's on the approach, I think, uh, on the star. LRUV 4 Bravo. Ekvox published holding. 217 inbound, left hand turns, max 230 knots. And I would call up, get permission to hold at 285 guys we used to use um the approach about 140 plus 100 240 for our air airspeed so we could actually do that we'll bring the airspeed back to 240. And we tell them we're going to hold at 240, once we saw that max speed there. 
One thing we didn't do on departure that we should have done, we should have got permission to exceed uh, 220 or below 6. Awesome. All right, I'm going to turn the lights on now. I'm thinking about it. I'm also going to finish the descent check. I'm going to come over here, turn on the pumps to high, transfer pumps on, aux pumps on. New Zealand 659er, old over Igvox, expect around five minutes delay. Hold over Igvox, we'll expect five minute delay for Air New Zealand 659. All right, guys, so if we wanted to, we can come to the box. We could change this to 240 and 10. And it said a five minute delay. Present time is. 57, so our EFC is 2302. 2302. Make a PA to the people. We tell them we're just going to do a little holding. we landing in about 20 minutes. All right, so let's come up here and turn on the seatbelt sign for the descent and do the checklist, please. All right, so we're nav. Two forty is on the speed, and we're using indicated airspeed. Holding a two forty, clamping, going down to ten, and holding. And you see, we're a little bit above the path on the VTI, but we're not worried about it because uh, we got plenty of time to get down in holding. It's important that you put the speed in the box for that you're going to hold at, so that it draws the pattern collect correctly. 217 inbound left hand turns, one mile legs, EFC 2303. It would normally have hold available. We can hold for about 20 minutes here before we have to bingo out to Price Church. All right, checklist, please. Descent, MSA, V bugs, radar altimeter, hydraulic system set and check. Pressurization, we checked. Uh, descent check is complete. Approach, cabin signs are on. Fuel system is set. That's set. Pumps are on. Altimeters and bugs. We're coming out of 15. We'll set the altimeter. It's 1012. And that's the approach check complete. All right, just going to enter the hold. If you take a look at our uh, flight plan, yeah, usually they'll have an exit hold once you're in, and that'll just clear you onto your next point. We'll take a look at that when we get going. Um, execute it. I was executing the EFC right there. I had already executed the holding pattern. That was executing the EFC. So now you can see that these VTI is in view. If you ever want to know where you are in the VTI, uh, you can go to page two. And that shows you we're 4,100 feet above, coming down nicely. Uh, it's at or above 10 at Akil. I had put in the hard 10 at Ekvox, which is probably why it's showing us high. So here we go. Enter, entering the hold, we'll give him a call. Air New Zealand 659 entering the hold at Xbox. Okay, and he's not going to answer us because you don't have to. Um, and so uh, tower is 18.1. We'll put that in as our next frequency. Eighteen one is set. You can also, if you wanted to, for uh, SA, go to the box and under fix, put in uh, NZ QN here, and uh, you could even put a, a bearing a fix when you want to know how far you are. So let's say we want to know uh, ten miles out. draws a circle for us around uh, New Zealand for 10 miles out. We know we want to be about 3,000 feet there, right? So we're entering the hold. Normally I slew the heading around with us, but it's so cumbersome on this airplane. I should do it, though. Procedurally, I should be doing that. So uh, I slew the heading just in case they give us any radar vectors. Here it comes. From here, it's ready to go. 11 for 10. 
Altimeters. She should Noted get under 659. Already Set. sun and maintain 10,000 feet. QNH 1012. And expect Kihans uh, shortly. Air to Zealand 659. Descend and maintain 10,000 feet. 1012 on the altimeter. Okay, guys, we already did that. We should have out of uh, 15 gotten the altimeters to standard, but we are uh, to the local. It's 1012 set three times. It's checked. Minimums are set 2709, uh, and uh, the approach is briefed. We talked about the missed approach, and uh, off we go. Hopefully, we don't have to do missed approach. Slowly leveling at 10. I've got it out of uh, VNAV right now because I'm just taking it over. I want to hold at 240 and 10,000, but I don't want to mess with all the speeds on the perf per page. Starting to turn inbound. Slew that heading back around to uh, 217 in case they give us vectors. Don't know why they would. We turn inbound. It's doing a nice job. In the holding pattern. Up. There we are. Now, when they clear us out of the hold, how do we do it? We can go to Duty two. then 659 or leave Equox to Atkill and you are clear 40 LNP Yonki on the way to 3, descend on profile. Air New Zealand 659, leave Equox to Atkill, clear the RMP Yankee to 2 3, descend on profile. Okay, guys, so what we can do to take a look here is the holding pattern. We can hit exit hold. On the page, and exit hold is armed, execute. And the hold disappears, and because we are cleared on the arrival for the approach, um, we're going to put in the bottom altitude. We can put it all the way down to minimums, actually. 2,700. I'm going to put in, uh, yeah, 27, hit the tab key, 2,904, uh, 2,709, rather. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, guys. It goes all the inversion, right? I hit escape instead of tab. All right, so there it is. 27 is arm, which is the uh, decision altitude. And we'll see how well this does. Um, I'm going to keep it on the descent. You take a look. Prog. Prog. We can actually go back to VNAV, right, VNAV, VNAV is armed, and FMS speed, I'm going to set go around on the limit, uh, we're going to need that, FMS speed, here we go. I'll just descend at 250, guys. I think 240 below 10 is actually what's in the box. That's why it's at, at, we're at FMS speed. It's staying at 240 because we are at 10. Just take a look at the box. Legs. Uh, at or above 1800 at QN 780. So it seems to know where it is. Looking for the vertical track indicator. Remember what this looked like on the approach? Approach, RNAV Zulu. No, RNAV Zulu. There it is. Uh, big 
New Zealand 6590, contact like uh, Queenstone's Tower, 118 to the CMAD 1. Have a nice day. 118, 1181, uh, have you have a good day too. Uh, New Zealand Air 659. Okay, guys, let's go in here. Starting down on the arrival. Queenstown Tower, New Zealand Air 659 is on the RNAV Yankee 23. Liar, liar, right? Pants on fire? New Zealand 659er, Queenstown Tower, very good morning. Wind 180 at 6 knots, Hanoi 23, you are here to land. Latest GNH 1012. 1012, clear to land on way 23 for Air New Zealand 659. All right, guys, it says we're on the, uh, there's a track capture. It's coming down nicely. I've got slats extended. Um, you don't want to get fast on this approach, I can tell you that. So I'm going to go back to 210 on the airspeed. And I'm going to get flaps 11. Give it all the chance in the world to come down. All the way back to 200. It's right on the VTI, VNAV level and track is 8600. Our next one is 2075. Remember, we have um, all these RF lakes at TIB. Our approach, final approach fix is going to be at uh, down at 3300 at LRAV up here. 3300 at LRAV. So just letting it fly in a VNAV. I got plenty of drag on it available. When I land, I'm going to do medium brakes. Spoilers will arm in a minute. Let's do the approach checklist. Approach, cabin signs, fuel system, flight attendants, prepare for landing. Altimeters are set. Approach checklist complete. Final. Gear flaps, auto brake, spoiler lever, EOP. Okay. And uh, we've already got both on the ignition. And we've got the aux pumps on, transfer pumps on, and hydraulic pumps on high. I'm going to bring this heading bug all the way around to 2.30 or so so that when we transition to land, it's ready. Because right now, it looks like it's doing a good job. 8,600. Awesome. It's hanging up here. There we go. We're going down. No pilot wants to hear that, right? You get this range all the way down here. A lot of tight little approaches here. I don't know. I don't like the way this is going down. I think I'm going to put in... Uh, is it coming down nicely? It's coming down. How long do we have till the field? Fix. Fix. Distance to go 12 miles. Starting to get a little high, guys. So I'm going to go gear down. Bring the speed back 180. I'm going to go indicated airspeed and descend at 180. I'm just going to take it down to 3300 on the arrival, which is the FAF. And I think I'll do that because that's where LVAV is. Um, speed. And flaps. Flaps 15. Bring the speed back more. Indicated air speed nav tracking it. Auto throttles on. I took those off by accident. Speed all the way back, 140. 
go flaps 28. Once we get below 180, we can go flaps 40. Flaps 28. All right, here we go. LVAV was supposed to be around 3,300. We are high. Coming down, though. I wonder if we could put a little speed brakes out with this and help out here. And one thing I don't like is the... Um, the throttles, all of a sudden, they'll uh, start coming down on you. Here's the runway. We're high. So we're going to just... Uh, Autopilot off it, transitioning, GPWS terrain override, they kind of messed that up guys. Uh, the, the, my auto throttles needed to come to idle, so I'm just uh, staying right here, obviously missed approach. But we're going to come down, there's the runway. We'd be too unstable to do this, but we'll come down and, and check it out. 2500. Sink rate. Sink rate. Sink rate. There we go. Sink rate. rate. Runway 23. Yeah, um, my throttles didn't come back all the way. So I actually had to override the throttle, so flight director's off. Speed's come back nicely. Uh, unstable, we would be going around, but we're going to land. Yeah, my, my uh, honeycomb throttles, I should have uh, overridden that, so coming down. But we got to get rate. going. i got to get out with my Sink life. Rate. Sink rate. Sink rate. 500. 400. Flight Green. attendant, that was awesome. Minimums. That's a, a, a warble, warning warble? 40, 30, 20, 10. Long landing, in reverse. <laughs> 80 knots, start coming out of reverse. 60 knots. New Zealand 659er, welcome to Queenstone. Backtrack is approved. Exit runway via Alpha 3. And your stand is all mail too. I wish you a nice uh, day. I'll speak to you later. Okay, exit via Alpha 3, Romeo 2 parking. Uh, thanks for your help for Air New Zealand 659. We'll talk about that in the middle. Okay, flaps up after landing checklist. The uh, FO should be running the checklist. We're going into Alpha 2. Gate Alpha 2. Yeah, obviously unstable there on final. Um, it was it was getting above the glide path on the VNAV, so I put an in indicated airspeed, but it looks like Alpha 2 over here maybe. Um, now here's 2 here. That guy's parked over there at Alpha 3. We'll park right here at Alpha 2, guys. Sounds like the APU is running. So it sounds like the FO did the checklist for me. Even got the lights for me. Well uh, done, welcome to Queenstones. I hope you like this very short scenario. This is the actual flight of Air New Zealand. Short sector with very interesting approach as you saw over the mountainous area. I hope you did it well, otherwise repeat it as much as you like. This is why we are here to train. Wish you a very pleasant day and as always feel free to comment on the forum or on the Discord channel if you like that scenario. See you soon for another one. Bye bye. That was cool. All right, brakes park, seatbelt signs off, APU is running. I think so the FO got the whole checklist for me. Thank you very much. And what we're going to do is uh, park and check, but before we do that, I'm going to go here. I think it's. I think I'm going to publish this one, guys. Pretty cool. Uh, request deboarding. Deboarding requested. 
Uh, Air New Zealand is choice. All right, let's do the parking check, please. Uh, after shutdown checklist. Um, I know we got to come. Let me make sure she got uh, all the things that were supposed to be done here. Uh, hydraulic pumps is what I was looking for, guys. Hydraulic pumps are off. Transfer pumps off. It doesn't look like she, didn't, doesn't look like she got everything. You see the overhead. Fuel pumps off. Uh, eight, yeah, they can all come off. Action. Open aft cargo door, forward cargo door. Okay. Aft and cargo and forward cargo. Anti ice is off. PO heats off. You get everything. It's probably not part of the checklist. Let me go electronic flight bag. And it's not letting me do that. Let me see this. Electronic flight bag. Interesting. It's uh, locking up on me, guys. Let me close this out. It is not working. My bug is not working. Let me try um, escape. Nope. Okay, sim crashed. Um, no problem. So I wonder if I can go outside. Nope, I can't even look outside. Interesting. Let me try recycling the brakes. And nothing works. That's okay. Uh, we'll publish this one. Um, that was great. It's Father Time. Don't forget to subscribe if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, what happened was on that thing, we're doing real nice, coming up, doing the approach. It was time to transition to final. And uh, what I am not used to on this Super 80, on the uh, Leonardo Super 80, awesome. if it's not doing what you want, I had an V-Nav, I had an indicated airspeed, speed brakes out, wasn't coming down fast. And that was because the throttles had to manually be brought back. Manually brought. I was late to do that. Ended up uh, high. Uh, we did VFR approach and landing. Uh, was it legal? We weren't. VFR, you have to be stable by 500 feet. Were we stable by 500 feet? No, we were above our speed, so we should have gone around and done the missed approach. Is a figure eight you do in the missed approach there at Queenstown and come back around and land. But I didn't do it because uh, I was afraid. So anyway, it's Father Time. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave any comments, suggestions, corrections, errors. Uh, special thanks to uh, Captain Cavu. Um, he's been giving me some help. Other guys give me some love. JP, thank you guys. Uh, thanks for taking care of me, guys. I really appreciate you. Uh, subscribe and like. That will be great. That's what I'm here for, to be your mentor, your help, and uh, you guys help me a lot. All right, Father Time is out. Sorry it froze up there, guys, at the end.